jana mogetso ba bantsi ba rona rata gore re tsa di phone tsa rona re tsa di tshwantso re be re di ba mo Instagram e ka mpo mo Twitter jana re o kentse motho go gagwe o rata di tshwantso tota ruri mo eleng gore bile mo go di mogamo o rata go ditsa mo tlase ga metsi today we have someone who really goes to the lengths to capture stunning photographs and i'm not talking about going on a little hike or suspending from a tree uh, rather spending hours and hours underwater i'm talking about none other than underwater photographer Pierre Manet who recently won the coveted title of up and coming for uh, underwater photographer of the year 2016 and it's great to have you here welcome to espresso thank you okay really really like to be here so uh, firstly congratulations of course on this award uh, tell me what does it mean for you as a photographer to have received this up and coming underwater photographer of the year 2016 recognition well I, it's a thrilling experience uh, this was the first competition i ever participated to for pictures and i send my picture all of a sudden I win with this picture, the title, and here I am six months later. So <laughs> it has been quite a ride. <laughs> Take me through some of what it, you know, the challenges that you've got to face. I mean, looking at this, it, it looks like it's reasonably deep. And for me, uh, you know, as somebody who just recently learned how to swim, I can't even <laughs> begin to imagine the challenges that you must go through to get a shot like that. The lighting looks perfect. Yeah. Everything is just amazing about this picture. What do you have to go through to get a shot like that? This, this shot is not as deep as you may think. Mm -hmm. it's, it's probably about 10, 10 to 12 meters. Uh, That's the, deep enough for me. <laughs> the, the, the trick here is to, uh, to balance the light. Um, you can see there is, a, there is a shock, there is a foreground, and there's a background. Mm -hmm. And this is what is difficult with underwater photography, is to make all these ingredients work yes. in one exposure, one shot. In one shot. Yeah, so yeah. how many people does it actually take? Because I mean, this is you with the camera. It's just you. There's just only you. one person. <laughs> and you balance this all out on one camera? Yes, on one camera you have two strobes and then the camera. And to do that shot probably took me about, I don't know, 15, 20 shots before I get to the light lining. Then once I got to the light lining, I just have to wait for the subject to come through. Yeah, I was, I was about to say, you gotta get and the shot And then you have to, to be patient and wait <laughs> for the guy to come through. <laughs> wait for the shot to come through. Now, what is some of the most extreme things you have done to get amazing photography underwater? Uh, I would say just recently, about a month ago, I was in the Galapagos Island and diving in the, the Darwin Arch. There is very strong currents. You have to hook yourself with, with the rope to the, to the rocks yeah. so that you don't get carried away. And, and the current so strong takes your camera away oh and, your, and your mask away. But it, it's been a thrilling experience. I had a great team of people there with me. And, uh, We'll, you guys will see the shots in the next upcoming competition soon. I can't wait. Have, have you ever had a life-threatening situation underwater? Uh, no, no, no. Fortunately I, not. It's been no, good so you, far. You learn to dive first, you know, safety first, and once you're a good diver and you can keep your buoyancy and you know, know how much air you consume, Yes. It, it is a pretty safe sport. Fantastic. But I know that there's also a couple of people that you'd like to thank. Yeah, certainly my family for their support. Dale uh, as well from here in Cape Town. The three judges that like my pictures, Alex, uh, <laughs> Martin, and uh, Peter, who changed kind of my underwater photography career. Mm -hmm. And certainly my team in Chad, my leadership team there. I have a great team over there. We've done great work this year. Yeah. So well, thank you for coming in and for sharing your passion with us. And once thank again, you. congratulations. Thank you. I hope to come see you again next year with the new pictures. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. Wow. I think you, all, you can Thank see you. some of uh, Pierre's uh, photography and his works uh, that is on until the 30th of September at the uh, Chavon's Battery Museum at the v a Waterfront. And once you're there, maybe even take a picture of yourself in there. Are we allowed to do that? Take yeah. a picture of a selfie? Certainly. And then, cool, share it with yeah. us and let us know what you think about this man's wonderful work. Right now, let's find out what else you can expect on this morning's edition of your Feel Good Breakfast Show.